Well, hey there. You're back. Good to see you back safe, deputy. What's the word on the mech factory? Were the mercenaries hiding out there? Damn, you've got guts of steel. Did you find out why the first was taking over farms? What? Ron Hope? That's one hell of an accusation, Deputy. Are you really that surprised? Hope's always had a reputation as a man who'd do anything to succeed. He's on the damn council, Emma. So he can make laws favorable to his business interests. Sure, he's known to look after his people, but do you really think he gives a damn about some farmers on Montara Luna? Did Hope explain his motives at all? That has a familiar ring to it. I recall hearing about some Hope Tech initiative to help farmers. At the time, I just figured it was a PR stunt. Seems a little more sinister now. Please, tell me you've got some evidence to back up these extraordinary claims. All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, this is pretty damning. Especially this last bit about destroying the slate. And you confronted Hope about this? Sounds like his pride got the best of him. Damn. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the Free Star Collective. If the people can't trust their leaders, anarchy could follow. Have a little faith, Daniel. We're not the United Colonies. One bad apple won't spoil the whole damn barrel. Easy for you to say. You ain't the Marshal. Not yet, but you ain't gonna live forever, old man. While we've got you here, there's one last piece of business to take care of. Emma, would you please? With pleasure, Marshal. When you first joined us, I told you that you'd undergo an evaluation process. There's one thing left to do. A simple question. Do you feel ready to wear the badge of a full-fledged Freestar Ranger? Good. Duty and honor are the backbone of the Freestar Rangers. Marshal, I approve the deputy for advancement to the rank of Ranger. Thank you, Ranger Wilcox. In your time serving as a deputy, you've shown exceptional courage, fearless tenacity, and a high regard for the safety of our citizens. By the authority granted to me by the Council of Governors, I hereby promote you to the rank of Ranger. Here's your badge. Wear it with pride. But don't forget the solemn responsibility it represents. Congratulations. You truly deserve it. I know you will, Ranger. Let's hear it for our new Ranger. Woo! Right. Wait a minute. Great job, Ranger. Got to admit, I'm impressed how fast you made full Ranger.
Would you look at that? <laughs> this place is something else. So much history in these halls. And if we're lucky, we'll be adding some more. a strange feeling knowing you're living through some real history oh well if you have to come back soon now I look forward to it.
I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, no? A fair amount Already of business done. runs through Hope Town. Deep breath. And from what I understand, most of it is legal. Oh God. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed, or worse. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. It just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? You get it then. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel, nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. It gets even worse. A tracker just landed and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the pit stop and claim you're Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe... You can deal with the tracker? A member 
of the Trackers Alliance. You know, bang bang, dead or alive bounty hunters. I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but he may not give you any choice. The company is, well, <laughs> a real train wreck. I'm amazed they even have my last name on file. For once, working for such a dump is a good thing. Listen, I just haul, well, garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look, well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh, girl. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? You are the best! This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. got here too, right? What's your name, stranger? Might buy you a drink. Friends call me Ernesto. Actually, everyone does. Because it's my name and all. And you? A little of this, a little of that. I like to keep busy. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markup? I bet you didn't know it, but I'm a tracker, and I'm here for your bounty. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. Looks like a place that doesn't mind some color. Or you can surrender. I trank you up, deliver you, they kill you. Nobody ever picks that option. Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies, meant for orphans, or something. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment inside on scene. I figure they're in the markup. I don't deal with smugglers and no good types. What well, I do, but more violent-like. My words, my bond. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. Maybe. Maybe not. And all I have to back that up are words. You do seem... trustworthy for some reason. Slag steel, huh? All right, I'm not taking you in. But that just means somebody else will. Whatever you are shipping, you got to return it. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. <laughs> the 
There's no way they're ever going to settle for that. Ah, sucks to be you. One more drink and it's lift off. Why did I ever take this job? Why? I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. Since the tracker's on world, I'm sure he's got eyes on the Mark Hub. It's just too dangerous. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. I'm gonna try very hard to disappear. You think? I mean, of course they will. Oh God. I don't mean to be ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. to harvest any organic materials, now would be the time. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. Can't say for sure. Looks worn, but not cobbled together like a crimson fleet junker. 
Others have been saying it's some new Varun design, a gigantic battleship with hidden armaments preparing for assault, but that doesn't check out either. There's also been talk about non-human sentient life. The comms data we received might support that, but humanity spread far and wide and no one's ever encountered anything like that. Still, first contact. Could you imagine? And not quite. It took some time, but we received a transmission. It was all... pardon the phrasing. It sounded almost alien, like nothing anyone's heard before. Clicks, distorted groans, buzzing, really disturbing sounds. Now, one of our engineers says it could just be some busted comm equipment or incompatible signals, but we're not sure. So far, no one's disembarked from the ship. No landing craft, nothing. We don't have the staff or ships to spare, otherwise we dock with it and attempt to board. It bears no discernible markings or allegiances to any manufacturers we're aware of. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're dealing with some sort of new deep space threat. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. <laughs>